In this episode of Blogbeat, we're taking a look at a student initiative that has collected close to 700,000 rupees, an idea about solar lamps, and some important sites that you may want to bookmark in case you're following the flood relief work being done across Pakistan. Gulzeb Shakil is the General Secretary of the Zabis Student Council. They're organizing marches which start from Zabis, the A campus, and they go and they proceed to go survive roundabout. And after that march, a little program in the National Anthem, and then they dispatch. They form teams and, they, they, and then they go on to different routes of that because it's around about to be like four roads coming in. And what they do is they per, try to persuade in their own way uh, to the, you know, to the passes by to the need for the uh, flood relief. So they have accumulated almost seven lakhs so far by this. The traffic is an issue. Then convincing people is an issue. So most of them are apprehensive. They don't want to contribute. But most of them have been very generous. We have had, uh, you know, donations up to 5,000, rickshaw drivers and taxi drivers. They have been contributing. So, you know, people from all uh, factions of the society are coming forward for this. It has been difficult, but it has been very encouraging as well. We are buying them food. We have established camps. We have bought medicines. We have also um, bought in things like lanterns because, of course, there is no electricity over there. Little things like lanterns, jaru, carbon, you know, little, little things that will help them. But primarily, we're establishing camps and we're having cooks come in and they're going to cook food and they're going to serve them. This is going to be done twice a day for 100 families. Though the students have held three marches so far, the fourth one was scheduled but cancelled due to prevailing conditions in the city. This, of course, hampers, amongst other things, the fundraising efforts. They could come forward and contribute and help us. It's not just money, we also need volunteers because we're going to, um, we have a midfield camp and we're going to have a bar in Sakhar. So we also need volunteers over there especially boys and men who can, you know, who can run that camp and just facilitate the process. And speaking about electricity, Professor Dr. Mushtaq Ahmed from GIK wrote in to us and refers to an obvious challenge that millions of tents and camps face in terms of having readily available light at night and suggests that perhaps economical and rechargeable solar lights are the answer. My current concern is that the these red affected people do not have light at night in their camp, no electricity. Imagine the suffering of an old person or a lady or a child who feels to go to the toilet and to the makeshift toilet or to the outside in the open and it is dark. It is pitch dark. Disaster relief fund or the government relief fund and some of the NGOs should import in bulk the solar garden land and provide to these uh, flood affected people. According to Dr. Ahmed, solar lights are available at large stores such as the metro chain across Pakistan. And here are some important links for you to bookmark which may help you plan, coordinate and perhaps even collaborate with existing ongoing relief efforts. The U Shahidi incident reporting for Pakistan can be accessed through pakistan.crowdmap.com which allows you to update specific areas that need very specific kinds of help, whether it is food, water and sanitation, health, the areas that are experiencing an emergency, or which areas simply need volunteers. Google also has a crisis response page up for the Pakistan floods which you can access through google.com.pk. They have a list of tools and resources that you can access or embed into your websites which help with the timely collaboration of information and reports and of course if you're on Twitter and wish to stay updated to the relief related messages then you should follow the hashtags of PK flood or Bach relief if you're interested in joining Zappist's initiative and helping them with their relief effort, please join their Facebook group, the link for which is available in the text below. If you have a link or relief effort that we can help publicize through our podcasts, please write to us or leave the details in the comments below.